Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bad of Ezra Repentance, the Mega Bodies series of jumping in again on a tiny baby streak of minus one. But anyways, so the streak isn't that important. We're going to randomize our character and we get Tainted Judas to Mega Satan. Let's give that a go, shall we? I do like a bit of Tainted, uh, where is he? Where's the fella? Tainted Judas, he can be quite fun. He can be decent. Let's just jump in as him and straight off the bat get into our free curse room. That's just the best thing about him, the free curse rooms. They're just amazing. Free cash rooms is so nice. I mean, I will say, um, I've, I've, I've heard people say that they think that, um, they think that Tainted Judas is one of the sort of least exciting um, Tainted characters. And I, I can definitely see that because his sort of main gimmick or main, main difference is just like an item. So I, I can, I can kind of get that. But at the same time, I think his item is really good. Ooh, what the hell's this? Sibling Rivalry. Orbital that switches between two different states every 15 seconds. Two orbitals that quickly rotate around Isaac. One orbital that rotates slower and closer and periodically shoots teeth in random directions and spawns blood creep under it. All orbitals block enemy shots and do contact damage. Okay, this is kind of intriguing. Also, a lucky penny is rather nice. I, I hate this room. Like, my brain can never comprehend how to properly do this room. My brain is small and feeble. Okay. So, these dudes seem like they could be pretty good. I don't know how useful they're going to end up being, but I like the idea of it. Also, Hollow Heart? Hell yeah. Hollow Heart's so good. Okay, this guy's firing teeth now. So, here's the, here's the joint version of them. And I, I'm, I'm imagining the joint version, because it's called it was called like sibling rivalry, I think. The idea behind that is like they're fighting, and so they're, they're knocking each other's teeth out. I kind of like the idea of that. Okay, so every every 15 seconds we're gonna get this uh this little fighting mode where they go they go ham on each other. I like it. There you go. Look, it's actually pretty good. I like it. It's a really cool idea for a familiar. We're here firing out teeth. Let's uh, let's go down to the next floor. When was the last time any of you lost a tooth? And I don't just mean like baby teeth. I mean, I know a lot of you are probably old enough to have lost all of your baby teeth by now. I uh, think so, at least. But like, when was the last time you had like one taken out or something? Like, I uh, personally, I had to have braces when I was um, like 14, 13, I think, something like that. It was, it was between 12 and 14. I can't remember the exact age. But um, I lost all my baby teeth at a pretty young age compared to most people. Um, I had them all gone by the time I was like 11. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I remember when I had to have my braces put on, um, I had to have four adult teeth taken out. Because obviously I'm British and British people just have stereotypically terrible teeth. I am of that stereotype, definitely, and have not great teeth. <laughs> um, so, ooh, hello. The manual page, 50% chance of spawning a random familiar on here, only two per room. Now that's intriguing, and the fact that it's gold would up that to 100% chance. But really, only two per room and it's on hit. I don't really think that's going to be the best for us. But yeah, I had to have four teeth taken out. Um, I lost my, uh, I don't know what I lost there. Was that my hollow heart? I think that might be my hollow heart. Um, oh my god. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Can we get a key, please, game? That'd be really nice. Yeah, uh, so I had to have four teeth taken out, which is obviously quite a lot, but luckily I'm a person that, like, doesn't really mind the dentist all that much. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really mind the dentist all that much at all. I, I know a lot of people are, like, real scared of the dentist or just, like, find it quite uncomfortable. But um, according to my mum, apparently once, and this was during this uh, taking out these four teeth, I kind of fell asleep while it was happening, and like, no, it's not like America where they take out one tooth and they put you completely under. I, don't, I still don't really know why they do that. You get like, videos online of people that are absolutely off their tits on whatever drugs they put them on. And it's like, all they've had done is have like, one tooth taken out. It's like, what are they doing in America? <laughs> like, like I, I've... I've had, I've been to doctors multiple times for various things, and I've never, ever been fully put under, like, anesthesia. Uh, l l not anesthesia, what was it? Is, it? is it anesthetic? Yeah, what about anesthesia? What the hell's that? 
That's a, that's a name. Um, local anesthetic is what I meant. I've never been put under, like, because they just don't do that in the UK. And I find it so bizarre that in America they're like, ah, oh, you're having a tooth taken out? We're going to have to knock you out fully and make you high for the rest of the day. It's like, wh why? <laughs> like, is there something I don't know about American teeth? Are these so much harder to take out? Also, it looks like we're not getting, um... Looks like we're not getting a key. Really? That's not secret room? Hmm. I've got to check here. I need to see if I can find it. What? Where the fuck is it? Heck. Absolute heck. You watch this be a bombsar key when I uh, take this pill. Nope, it's just an I found pills. Worthless. It's kind of a good idea to, to get the familiars when they're fighting, like, on top of the enemy. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, so, like, um, I had I had those taken out, and apparently I, like, <laughs> fucking fell asleep as a child while uh, having my teeth pulled out, which is kind of crazy. Um, let's take that. Sadly, no key this far. That's a real shame. Um, and... I, I didn't really find it too bad. It's it, it, it's kind of horrible. Like like you you can hear your teeth like you, you can hear them like cracking your teeth and stuff. But like they completely numb it and you can't feel anything. All you can really feel is like the tug of them pulling it out. But it didn't really bother me that much. What did bother me, however, and sort of where I was coming onto with this story or this sort of train of thought is when I had my wisdom tooth pulled out. Now, for for any of you, thanks for the key right after I did it. Um. For any of you that are going to have this happen to you, I do apologise if I uh, if I preemptively scare you a little bit here. But having your wisdom teeth taken out—oh my god, I'm getting beaten up right now. Um, having your wisdom teeth taken out is among one of the greatest pains I've ever experienced in my entire life. Now, the actual taking out of said tooth ain't nothing to it. Didn't care. Was absolutely fine. Because of how my very janky teeth had grown in when I had it removed. I've only had one removed so far, but I'm likely to have to have more removed. Basically, they grew in at an angle where they'd kind of grown into my gum. Which, as you can imagine, is quite problematic. Um, it was causing me all sorts of issues. One of the main ones and one of the main reasons I had it taken out is because I was accidentally biting my gum a lot because the tooth was in such a uh, such a location, such an angle, that basically whenever I... Um, oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. Um, that basically whenever I would bite down fully, the, the tooth would catch my gum and it was very, very painful. So I had to have it taken out. And anyways, I went sort of for a normal checkup and was just like, hey, by the way, my... Uh, oh my god, I might die on this episode. It's fine. There's been enough deaths already. You're kind of accepting of it. Um, but I was kind of like, hey, uh, I keep accidentally biting my gum with this... Uh, what in the hell? I accidentally biting my gum with this um, this wisdom tooth here. And she was like, oh yeah, cool. We can take that out right now if you want. And I was like, um, um, I wasn't ready for this, but I, I guess, sure, why not? Oh my god. I am playing like a major league doo-doo head. Right. But yeah, um, so so I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I want out right now. But then I was like, ah, oh, why not? Why not? It's like fifty pound. It's not even that expensive, and I need it done. So I had it done, and like I said, it went fine. But another sort of quirk of of just how oh god, I was stepped into the spikes. Another sort of quirk of just how my um oh what the hell, mega fatty? Oh god, mega fatty, why? Of just how my tooth had grown weirdly was the fact that basically because it had grown like that, it it had also, um, okay, we can just get this guy one second. It had also sort of grown kind of in a hook fashion inside my gum. So they had to do a few things. For one, they had to crack the tooth in half, which didn't actually hurt me, but it wasn't pleasant. Um, and then the next thing they had to do, where, where was we going again? Mega certain, okay. Um, and then the next thing they had to do was, of course, remove said tooth. Uh, but my tooth was, like, kind of, like, hooked and barbed into my gum. So I imagine most people that have their wisdom tooth out won't have the same experience I had. But anyways, it was it was pretty gnarly. It was pretty deep in there. Um, wasn't a good time taking it out for me or the doctor. So I was in there for about, like, 
an hour maybe, maybe longer having this taken out. And it felt fine afterwards, because like I said, they, they numb your whole mouth. You don't feel anything apart from like the tugging, but otherwise I was absolutely fine. But after that ha that had happened, they did give me some uh, some painkillers to relieve the pain afterwards. But after that happened, they, they were like, okay, once the drugs wear off, it's going to hurt a bit because we did absolutely mash up your gum. Like, the hole where the tooth had came from was just destroyed. Um, so I was like, okay, I've dealt with pain before, I'm fine. Ooh, why do we have four of these fellas now? I'm not complaining, but I don't understand it. Um, is it because we got another familiar? Did I misunderstand how this thing works? Nope. They're back to normal again. I think it's just a bug with going down to the next floor. Um, but yeah, so, so I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I can deal with pain. I've, I've dealt with pain before. It's not, it's not a big deal. I'm not a big fan of pain. Obviously, I don't think many people are, but I can deal. I can deal. Um, and I, uh, I could not deal. I decidedly could not deal. That was, and still is to this day, the most pain I've ever been in for a week. An entire week. And it, and it like, it sort of faded after the week, but it was still pretty bad. But for that first week, that has to be the most excruciating pain I've ever been in. It was absolutely horrendous. Um, and I, I, I like... I've I've never really had any any like big big pains other than that to be honest. I mean I've I've had a I've had a few here and there. Also I'm liking these mushrooms and stuff, it's pretty cool. Um I've had a few here and there, like uh, oh my god, go away, go away, go away. Okay, thank you, managed to save that. Um I've had a few here and there, like I I was in the hospital for a little bit um during college when I was like fifteen. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit so much. When I was like 15, um, because I basically, I'm at least, I at least think it was stress induced, but I basically had this really weird stomach issue, like, um, like abdominal pain, where I just, I was just in immense pain all the time. Um, even that wasn't as bad as the tooth pain, but it was still pretty bad. And they, they had to put me on codeine for that when I was in the hospital. And that, that was the day. That like, do you know, I don't know how many of you out there smoke or, or have done many drugs or anything like that, but I I knew what addiction was, of course. I was of like, I was like 15, of course I knew how addiction worked. And my dad smoked, so like, I kind of had seen it. I knew, I knew how it worked. But I'd never really sort of understood just how being addicted to something felt. After that, after that being in... Oh my god, I'm going to die. I am playing so bad right now. Um, oh, what is this? After that stint in the doctors, oh my god, just end my life, please. Just end me. Just let, let me play another character, please. <laughs> that runs so doomed. Right, um, let's, let's play another character because that one didn't work. <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. Anyways. Um. Yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Ooh, old relic. While walking, create a stomp, stomps fill gaps, stomp damage enemies. Oh, nice. It does the undermine tune as well. Um. But yeah, so, what was I saying? Um. Yeah, and, and that, that, that pain was, that pain was pretty bad, but, like, I've definitely, I've definitely felt worse with the uh with the tooth pain but yeah like um oh that was what i was saying oh little dumpy hello i was saying about the um the the the, the addiction so they put me on codeine yeah i'd never really sort of understood just how addiction really worked before that that taught me that that really gave me a very good idea because i when i was on that codeine i could only be on it for um i think i could only have it like once every eight hours and I think it lasted like four, four or five hours um, and I was like my god I have never felt better than I feel right now I never want this to end and I remember like literally begging the nurses to give me more because it like got rid of all the pain because I couldn't sleep when it was bad like the abdominal pain and I was like just give me more like I completely understand how any anyone can be addicted to this it completely 
removed all ill feeling. Like, completely. It was absurd how good it was. So I was kind of like, hmm. I would very much like this again. I can very, I can very much see how people can get very easily addicted to basically anything um, if it makes them feel this good. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was like, God damn, God damn, this is good shit. D uh, um, little stompy boots. Did you seriously just stomp away? Just absolutely stomp away. My one true love, Tinted Rock. God damn it. God damn it, yeah. And the, the only other time I've been in sort of pain like that was uh, when I broke my collarbone. Hey, bit of cheese. And a shot speed up, nice. Um, was when I broke my collarbone. Uh, when I when I was like... I was, in, I was in secondary school. It was like last few years. I was probably like 12 or 13. Um... I broke my collarbone, uh, which, if you didn't know, is the hardest bone in the body to break and is almost exclusively a sporting injury. Um, oh, hello. Oh, for, for some reason I thought I had dark arts then. I don't have dark arts. Get back here, you. Um... But yeah, so um, it's almost exclusively a sporting injury. Very, very hard uh, part of the body to break. And yeah, I, oh, really, there's there's more enemies here. Could could you not? Um, I managed to break it. Get this, falling off my bike. <laughs> it's like this is a this is a an injury that we mainly see in rugby players and hard contact sport. And it's like ah, oh, you did it by falling over. And I and the worst part is as well. I'd, I'd rode my bike to, to go to school that day and I, I'd ridden my bike to my friend's house as I normally did Basically what I would do is I'd ride my bike to my friend's house and my friend lived kind of close to the school So I'd park my bike up at his house and we'd walk the rest of the way um, Rather than leaving our bikes at school So I did that and I got to his house and I don't know if I don't know what it was I don't know if it was like I hadn't eaten enough or um, Or I don't know I was like low on energy or something but but anyways I am um, Libra. Libra, really? Um, yeah, but basically, I uh, got to his house, got off my bike, and sort of the door, and I was like, hey, dude, Matty. Uh, his name was Matty. I was like, hey, dude, Matty, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to faint. Like, I feel faint. And lo and behold, right before his very eyes, I fainted. And I fell backwards into his garden, and, um, ooh, buying Uh Nah, I'll we'll just buy that for now. Um... Yeah, and lo and behold, I just, just like keeled over backwards and fell directly into um, into his garden, which was like a sort of rocky pebble garden. Broke my collarbone, and I came to, and um, his mum was sort of standing over me like, Hey, <laughs> are you okay? And I was like, nah, I have definitely broke my shoulder. Didn't know it was my, specifically my collarbone at the time, but I was like, nah, nah, nah. I've broken my shoulder, like guaranteed. And she was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's probably just hurt. It's probably just like bruised. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I know broken. I've never broken a bone in my body in my life, but I know broken. This is definitely broken. Um, and she's like, no, 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 it's, it's not, it's not, it's not. Just wait until, the, wait until the ambulance gets here. And I was like, okay, but I'm telling you, it's broken. Ambulance arrives. First thing they say, yep, this is broken. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yep, pretty sure it was broken. Thank you for confirming. But anyways, that got me out of a religious studies exam, which was pretty awesome. Didn't have to take it. Um, that was uh, that was a very useful thing for me because I really was did not want to do that exam and was not good at it. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that that was like sort of semi semi intense pain. Like when it happened, of course it was pretty intense. But like after the fact, it wasn't that bad. I didn't really suffer with the pain all too much. You just jumped right onto Ezel, you fool, you fool. Yeah, so um, that that was that was pretty pretty bad pain, but yeah, it all comes back to the fact that none of it, none of it, even compares to the pain of getting my wisdom tooth out. And I I, I seriously can't imagine anything in my life like normal in my life, like surpassing that pain. I've heard that like um, kidney stones are really painful, and they're like. Not exactly common, but they're not uncommon in your later life, so maybe maybe when that happens, I'll change my tune. 
I'm loving this dumpy v dumpy action. Dumpy v dumpy. Okay. Okay, we actually managed to kill a hell of a lot of them there. This is going decently well so far for uh, a Tainted Jacob run. It's surprisingly going much, much better than our Dark Judas run, which, considering the Dark Judas run should have gone pretty smoothly, it's kind of crazy. Really? That hit me? Okay. I just I just keep losing my Devil Chance. Ah! Fuck you! Don't throw rocks at me! Don't throw barrels at me! What is this? Dude! This little shitbag! Oh my god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Getting hit a lot right now, there you go. Full health. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go hope our item room is better than Libra this time. My lord. Oh. But yeah, if any of you had any, like, uh, majorly painful events, it's always interesting to know. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. It's kind of pathetic. I don't have an active to give you, so I'm sorry. I'd love to give you something, but I don't have an active to give you. Oh, excuse me. I hate these ghosts. Go away. Oh, the stomping's so nice for destroying those guys. It's very annoying for knocking consumables around, but for destroying those guys, it's great. Okay, we got. I just want to say, I could see the water bubbling. I knew these guys were about to come get me. Where the hell's that item room? Okay, here it is. As soon as I say that. That hit me! Oh my god, I'm pathetic. At least I haven't been hit by uh, Izao himself. That would be rather sad. Still got hit there, though. Rotten Baby, I think, is pretty good. We'll take Rotten Baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Is this our mirror room here? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to bomb my mirror for a few extra reflecteds. Thank you. And let's keep moving on. God damn, this has been a trial. I think Rotten Baby will be pretty decent here. Got a nice little baby army. Did you seriously just knock the bomb out of Wormwood's mouth? Did you seriously just knock the bomb out of Wormwood's mouth? That was his. His for the eats. Let him have this. I'm liking the filling in gaps, though. This has been rather nice. We did get a devil deal as well. Sty's great, too. Uh, too spooky is not that good. We'll say no, no to that. We'll go down to the double path. Wow, this has been a, a bit of craziness right here. A bit of craziness. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. Bombed that for me. I would like some damage and, and stuff now, though. Stats would be good. I don't know how that didn't hit me. No idea. Yeah, being able to fill in gaps like that is so nice. I'm trying to think of what would be really good with Libra for us right now. There's not many things that are super good with Libra apart from, like, soy milk. But even then, I don't think soy milk's that good with Libra anymore. Nice. Managed to kill a lot of enemies there. <laughs> the the little uh, stomp just pushed that uh, square right into Dark Ezel. Sorry, buddy. You got got. Dark Bum. Eh, Dark Bum's decent enough. Kind of looking for stats more than anything, though. Like, I think we're somewhat okay on the defensive side of things. We're not really that okay on everything else. That was nice. That was a, that was a good amount of kills there. Okay, I don't know how many of you are dead. Okay. Okay, fella. I forgot how good old bandage is going to be for us. Nice. I'm going to check in here just because we have so many keys, and that's kind of why.
Nice. Uh, what? Four coins? That's offensive. I got more coins from this one sack than I did from you. Okay. We're making our way downtown. Walking fast. There's a pill. I'll, I'll take the pill. He's giving me pills. I'll take the pill. Soy milk, boys. Yeah, I got out of the way of that dude, so that's fine. Oh, there's a black heart. Thank you. You're paying dividends, boy. You're paying dividends. You're doing well. My darkest of bums. You're doing well. Oh, that was such a bad player. I tried, I tried, but that was such a bad player. Where is our boss? Okay, this won't even reach, I don't think. Oh no, it will, it will. Little dumpy go. I need an active item real bad as well. We're getting batteries so often. Okay, out of the way of that dude. This is great. We, we have a pretty good setup right now. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. It's very, very nice. And we are going to grab this. Okay, stop with the stomps when I'm placing bombs! Oh my god! Why would that be a thing that happens? It's so annoying. So annoying. <laughs> Okay, you're just spawning babies all over the place now. It's kind of egregious. Egregious amounts of children. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you much, Lee. Right. Down we go. Yeah, the divine shield thing, it ain't that good. We'll see, though. We'll see. I just don't really tap shoot that often, so it doesn't have been that good. Trying to use it appropriately when I can, but it's kind of hard to do so. The fact that this, these guys' heads can auto-detach is so annoying. Thank you, Blackheart, for making that so much easier on me. Okay. Calm down, fella. Calm down. Okay, that wasn't great. I'm going to get a bomb in there. Why not? You didn't even kill the last dip. How dare you? Fucking... Oh my god, that stompy thing. So annoying. At least I can stomp shopkeepers. Broken murder's hella good. Broken modem is hella good. I'm very happy with that. Okay. I was like, why is that enemy frozen still? And I remembered I just picked up broken modem. Also, goddamn, I am playing like utter trash today. Like, so trash. I'm playing so bad. I'm just getting hit so much. God damn. Where's my item room at? Okay, that missed everything. Good. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Broken Bottom kind of saved my life just then. Reflected battery. I don't think that's going to really cut it. Okay, you gave me a black heart. That's nice. And a pill. Come on, rotten, flat, rotten beggar, do your thing. Do your thing, rotten boy. Oh, <sighs> but yes, today, today, what have I got to do today? I've got to go into into work today. I don't often go into work because I normally work from home, but we do have an office space, and I've got to meet someone there today. 
So I'm recording in the morning, of course. But yeah, I'm going to go in later today. And it's in a really nice place, our office. So it means I can get a really nice lunch, which is always exciting. I can go and get something fancy. So that's probably what I'll do. That's probably what I'll do. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> It's a, it's a rather silly thing to be excited about, but I don't know, like, you gotta be, you gotta sort of be excited about the little things, especially in COVID times when you don't really get to go out and do much. Oh, thank you. Getting to, um, go get some nice food for once in a while is, is kind of good. Apologies. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Right, what we got in here? I'll do this, why not? It wasn't really that worthwhile, but... Oh, actually, we got a black out of it. I can say it's a success. Don't be a... Yeah, I can say. Be flies. That's all I want you to do. Be flies constantly. I don't know what I did there. I just used Anima Soul and automatically ended it. Also, don't you just love these custom, uh, custom pins? Okay, we good? We good? We're good. Draw two. Blank room. Don't know what that did. I'll take a stars card instead, I think. Stars card is a little bit better for us. Consider we still haven't found our item room on this floor. It's going to be good for the next floor. Oh, hello. Intriguing room. Can't believe I didn't get hit there, but there you go. One of each of these boys. This dude destroys rocks. I mean, actually messing around with the... Uh, Ipecac enemies a lot recently, just because um, I've been uh, making custom rooms. I think I mentioned it in the last episode, maybe. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I've been making custom rooms for the alt path floors. It's been really enjoyable, actually. It's been kind of hard getting the balance right, of course. Uh, I've been taking advice from um, Wet, which is one of the devs, and sort of getting a good idea of what sort of thing works for them. Uh, but I've been getting better at it. Ooh, room bag's great. Um, been going, sort of getting a better idea of what works, and um, I've so far done Downpour, Dross, Mines, and Most of Ash Pit, and it, it's kind of crazy how well some of the enemies from Ipecac fit into the alt path. Like, it, 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 it's actually really crazy. They fit in so damn well. Ow. Okay, you did unfortunately open up a um, stupid little host. Did not want the hearst there. There you go, you're dead. I forgot the hearst. Stop hitting me. Also, where's that active item? We need one badly. Come on now. There you go. Bit of HP. Let's go. But yeah, that's another that's another question I have for people. What's what's everyone's favourite like restaurant food? I was saying the other episode about um about the fact that I went out to eat for the first time on my own. Um, like, I hadn't done that before. I hadn't, like, been out for a, a meal. Oh, really? Really? The double all stats down? Hell yeah. Libra's the best. God damn it. But yeah, um, and I was sort of talking about going to eat on my own. And I don't, it's, it's kind of hard to say, because it's like, there's quite a few different options. One moment. I really need to sneeze and it just won't let me. Anyways, there's, there's quite a lot of different options um, in sort of, like, my favourites. I, I, I went for Italian the other day and I, I have to say I do really, really like an Italian. Italian's got to be a pretty pretty top tier one for me. But at the same time, like, UK pub food, it's not... I wouldn't even say, like, I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's not the best. Like, it's normally pretty average at best. But man, does it hit the spot. Like... Sometimes I don't know I don't know why, but sometimes I'm just craving like uh, uh, like a pub burger or pub pie, and uh, and like a beer. It's just I don't know. It just hits the spot different. Also, goddamn the familiar train that we have right now is absurd. I don't know if it's like just a just a lucky run for familiars, or if there is like a big disparage, disparity. Oh, I, I hate these little fucking stupid bomber bitches. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I hate I, I absolutely I think these grimaces just need to be removed 
straight up from the game. I don't think that I don't think they work at all. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think these are uh, very uh, gameplay friendly. But yeah, it's like sometimes. Oh, you gave me two soul hearts, anyways. Thank you. Sometimes you just want like a, a big so sort of classic burger, and it's kind of what I'm craving right now. Oh, I don't even need a bomb. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the guppy's collar. Don't need it, but I'll take it. If it's free. Well, it's not free, but 15 cents. Kind of free. Pear throw. Hello. I'll take a pear throw. I will take a pear throw. Oh, did that, ki that killed all of them. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love it when you can get him to kill basically everything in the room. Also, filling in gaps like that then was so fun. <laughs> ah, you've got one of you, muck boy. Honestly, it's it's kind of crazy how with the new patch, um, with the new patch, they've really done a good job of making Dark Ezao nowhere near as threatening. Like, I'm playing around him just fine and having basically zero issues with positioning myself around him. He's definitely like, I've got to keep him on my mind. It's not like I can just forget about him now. But he's so much easier to just passively manage. And I think that that's to do with like the fact that he can't, like how close he can get to you now and like with the directions he can dive in now, stuff like that. Okay, that managed to miss everything as well. Not doing great. And like I said, I really need to sneeze, and my nose just will not let me sneeze. Like every time I pause the recording to sneeze, it's like, nah. And I know it's going to happen on recording. It happened. Oh my god, it happened. <laughs> I got it. Oh, this is, a, this is a strange topic for a video. A strange topic for discussion. Do any of you have synesthesia? Synesthesia. My girlfriend has it. And it's a very, very strange... Ooh, we've got a Yera there as well. It's a very, very strange, like, anomaly um, that you can get, like, just with how your brain works. Basically, it's where you can... Ah, oh, I got hit. Uh, it's where you can really closely, like, tie... Um, like, you ha basically, you have a way better memory because you can associate your memories with different colours and things. And... Um, my, my girlfriend has it in the way that, essentially, every single letter of the alphabet and every single word has its own colour. It's all, They're all associated with their own colours uh, in her brain. Like, that's just how her brain works. And, um... God damn, I apologise with my nose. It makes her incredibly good at, like, written English. Um, she, she got, like, an A in her, in her exams with, like, without really revising or anything. Just because she has this, like, really, really good memory. The one thing that she's told me before, though, about it is, like, the the colours, they're often... Oh, no. I died. Oh, wait, no. I didn't die. We're good, we're good. Um, The colours are often, like, associated with whatever let, uh, the starting letter is. So, like, the starting letter could be yellow, and the word... Um, and that, that, that letter could be, like, L. And then the word um, Liam would be yellow, sort of thing like that. It kind of has an associative thing with it, but not always. But one thing that really messes her up is that she said that, like, she'll have a word that's in a specific colour that she thinks she spelt right, and then she'll find out from someone else she's actually spelt it wrong. Um, and what this will do is, this will basically cause the spelling to change in her head, as it would for all of us, but the colour doesn't change. Like, once a colour's set, it's set, it doesn't change, which is really strange to think about, considering it's a, it's a really hard concept to conceptualise when it's something that we don't experience. That, like, I said we, but most people don't experience. Most people do not have synesthesia. Um, but it's, it's really strange, because, yeah, she, she'll, like, have this weird thing where she keeps spelling the same word wrong over and over again. And that's because in her head, when she thinks of the word, the word is a certain colour. But when the spelling changed and she got updated, she found out it wasn't spelt the way she thought. The colour should have changed, but the colour didn't change. It's it's a very, very bizarre thing to describe. And 
Most of you'll think I'm mad. But it's one of the ways that some people um, in the world can, like, learn learn new languages in, like, weeks. Because they have this associative, like, I, I don't really know what to call it. Uh, like, neurological, um, I wouldn't call it an issue exactly, but neurological thing. Where, yeah, they have this association between, like, numbers and colours or letters and colours. Places and colours. Some people even have it so much to the point where they have, like, different smells. Damages all items in the room, turns item pedestals into red locusts. Okay. Uh, no, nah, actually, I'd rather have my, uh, my reroll, to be honest. Um, yeah, so it can, like... It can kind of mess you up, but it's also super good for remembering stuff. She's, like I said, she's, like, really good at English. Did you just steal that from me? I mean, you gave me a black heart back, so I can't be too mad. But still. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. But yeah, like, some people even have it with smells, and it's like, you know... Oh my god, she's got so much health there. In, like, a really weird way as well, where some people are, like, see something or touch something with their hands and get a specific smell and, it, and it's not always like the smell is associated with the thing that they're touching or seeing like um it, it happens with tastes as well like some people have it where um where they hear the name of a place and they can taste it like they have an associated taste but this is also some somewhat of a downside as well because sometimes that's a good thing but other times it's a real bad thing because if some place gets randomly allocated, because I, I don't believe when you have synesthesia you get to choose at all what gets allocated, what, 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 and you don't really get to choose what, what word is what colour or what thing associates what smell, whatever, it just kind of happens, um, oh my god, the stepping thing is the worst, um, and yeah, uh, some people get it where they have like specific words, that give them horrendous tastes in their mouth. Like, dog shit and stuff like that, like... But there's not, not really much you can do about it. You just gotta try and avoid that word the best you can. It's 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 such a strange thing. It's, it's very much worth researching and having a look at. Um, I, I kind of knew about it a little bit before I found out my girlfriend had it. But, um, like, upon finding out my girlfriend had it, I was very intrigued about the subject. It's such a strange phenomenon. The, like I said, it's not even like super uncommon, but it does seem to be um, it does seem to be passed down like through family because my girlfriend has it and her mum has it as well. But weirdly enough, they have two very different versions of it. Like um, my girlfriend has the one that I tell, told you about, where letters and words have associated colours, whereas her mum has the same colouring system but for places, not words and letters. So she'll have places that are associated with specific colours. Which obviously isn't anywhere near as useful. <laughs> oh god. Scratch card crashed my game. Scratch card crashed my game. I thought that was fixed. It's not fixed. Not yet, at least. Anyways. Okay, we're back in Isaac. Can we continue? Let's find out. We can. We've still got a black screen. Why? Recognise the game, OBS. Thank you. We have to play through all this floor again, but not the biggest issue. Ow. Immediately got hit. Okay. Do, do we remember where we were going? How did I get hit there? I'm playing like a fool. I don't, I don't remember what the correct way was, I'm going to be honest. Okay, hopefully this time things go a little better for us. Well... I, I hope we don't crash this time. I'm going to let the, the wasp take care of this guy. There you go. Can I have that heart, please? Nope. Dark Bum got it instead. Have I grown up? Have I grown up? All enemies are babies. Oh, but they still hurt me. Good. They, they really needs to be, like, some sort of patch or change to the game where tiny enemies from, um... From this effect or from any other effect, like um, the the God's Flesh, just outright cannot shoot bullets on death or leave creep or anything. Like, look how dumb this is. You literally can't. It's so pointless. You can't walk into the enemies because they can still get you on death or leave creep on the floor. It's just like, what's the point? Makes it so hard to actually use them. Give me that per throw, please. Oh 
my god. I can't even see the enemy to know if I'm going to get hit. They're so tiny. Such baby boys. This isn't even the right way. Oh my god. I might die again here. Oh my god. Dumpy. You bastard. He farted me into it. He farted me into it. So this might be the end of me anyways. I wasn't expecting to die on this floor, but apparently I'm playing per playing pretty bad. Oh, that's so cool with flight with a stomp. Going over a gap and doing the whole ass stomp. Oh god. Oh god. This is a room where I die. Oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We survived again. Okay. God, how am I meant to survive this? Nightmare fueled room. Nope. Dead again. Oh, we get another chance. It's all good. Let's just try and bomb our way through it. Hope for the best. Nope. Oh, we're back. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, just let me die at this point. Please just let me die. Oh my god. Okay, finally dead. Holy hell. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one nonetheless. God damn, and I'll see you guys in the next one.